we just want to take a moment to talk about mistletoe burls and burls these rounded uh, deformed areas in the trunk are a result of mistletoe having grown in them and deforming the wood on the trunk so this tree has quite a few and uh, they are weak spots in the limbs so it's important when pruning a mesquite with mistletoe burls re really regardless of the size of the burl that you lighten and reduce the leverage on that limb i've been pruning this mesquite tree for 10 years i've pruned it about five or six times in that 10 years and it used to hang over the house maybe another 15 to 18 feet because there's a mistletoe burl in a weak spot there we definitely don't want it hanging over the house so over the course of that 10 years each time i've pruned it i've reduced it little by little and uh this time i've taken out let's see if i can point to that i've taken out that limb right there that went up and the next time i prune it i will take it back to right there and leave this limb here if i did it all at once it would have left a gaping hole in about a quarter of the canopy so doing it over time allows the remainder of the canopy to fill in the space that you gradually uh, reduce back.